I think there's a real prospect it's going to get that bad. And there's a real prospect it's going that aviation is going to be front and centre of that because it's one of the ones that everybody would begin to understand. Now, is the UK going to be cut off forevermore from it? No. But if there's a disruption to your flights for three months or six months in the summer of 2019, Lufthansa would. Lufthansa would be delighted. Air France would be delighted. Uh, most of Europe would be quite happy. The European airports would see a dip in numbers visitors from the UK. The tourism sector might take a bit of a hit for a six month period. But like, you know, if that's the cost of Britain leaving Europe, then I think most people would say that's the cost they're willing to pay. And because we, aviation gets there six months before everybody else, aviation is one of the ones that would be used as a stick to beat the British with, and we may not have an alternative, an alternative solution. I mean, Monarch were quoted just say, oh, we're an inventive industry, we'll come up with a, you know, an inventive solution. Well, good luck with that. If the Germans and the French decide there's no flights, I'm not sure what inventive solution you're going to have. I mean, our inventive solution would be to flip the planes out of the UK and into Europe. EasyJet won't be free to fly 40% of their capacity in Europe, so there'll be lots of places to go, but it will be very disruptive.